Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about 318 and the upcoming wipe. So CIG has updated us that uh, 318 will be coming with a full wipe. So that means that anything that you've uh, got in game will vanish when 318 comes out. And uh, it will be a clean slate. So basically what you will have uh, in game is only the things that is in your hangar. Now, I know uh, for the Halloween event, uh, a lot of people went uh, hunting for masks. So um, if you did uh, find one of the masks, you will have that added to your account in 318 when it goes live. I'm not sure about the PTU. I don't know if you will still have access to those in PTU. I don't think you will. Um, but I believe PTU will also have a wipe now. Um, so if you jump into PTU, like it usually does, usually when you jump into PTU, you don't have all of your stuff. Um, uh, sometimes they give you money so you can test it out. I honestly have no idea what, uh, the PTU is going to have in it, but, um, yeah, they will be doing a full wipe for live. I also don't know how long PTU is going to be this time. Um, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a long PTU, but they're saying that, you know, they want to have this thing live mid December. It is currently December 4th as of filming this video. So I would not, I do again, I do not know. It is possible, but in my opinion, that's not very likely. Um, I'm assuming that we're probably going to get um, live sometime in January or maybe even February. I, I don't really have a big problem with that. I think um, if we get PTU in December, it'd be fine. Maybe they want to skip along a PTU phase. Maybe they want to go straight to live. Um, I don't know how much of a great idea that is for the holidays. Now, some people have kind of been speculating and saying that, um, we're not going to get live this year. Um, because there was a three, uh, 17.4 patch that had the Christmas gifts for all the Luminalia gifts in it. So, uh, some people speculating that. Uh, Luminalia, um, that 317.4 is still going to be live for Luminalia. Um, but again, that's just speculation. I don't really know. But what I wanted to talk about in this video is preparing for 318. When the wipe happens, uh, what are your plans? What are you going to do? I know a lot of people have a lot of different strategies for hitting the ground running. Um, kind of my mentality around it is that you know, I just want to have fun with it. I just want to explore. I just want to check everything out. And what will make it easier for me to check everything out? Okay. Because at the end of the day, we are going to get, um, you know, new features added after 318. And there might be presumably another wipe for a uh, 4.0. Um, again, it's entirely possible that we have 318 throughout you know all of all of 2023s you know 318 319 and 4.0 comes out in uh, 2024 again i don't know i'm just i'm just assuming but uh we might have 318 for a long time as we had 317 for a long time or we might have 318 for a very short time and things get wiped again for 4.0 uh, regardless, you want to be able to put yourself in the position to check out all of the features that are coming out with 318. And 318 has a ton of features. 318 In 318, we are getting new rivers, new sand caves. We are getting new racetracks. We are getting new Dalek outpost locations. We are getting, um, I believe, new mission types. I don't know if that was taken off of the progress tracker or not. Um, but we'll see, um, we are getting salvage. We are getting, um, the cargo 
physicalization and um, uh, as well as soft death. So, oh, t- prison prison missions. Uh, I can't believe I forgot that. Um, so there's a new prison escape mission and there are new missions inside the prisons that you can do. And we're also getting an update to the law system and Korea. So with these updates to the law system, gameplay will be completely different than it is right now. Um, so that's a good thing. And, and even soft death. Um, so really, ooh, how do you pick your, your new starting location? Okay, so I kind of want to go through my thought process here and, and, and look at the options that we have. Okay, so right now my home base is on Crusader. Okay, and so the reason why I picked Crusader is because of the game place around the moons to be close to Grim Hex and Daymar. And uh, um, it's just a beautiful location. Now, in my personal opinion, uh, I like Hurston, uh, but I don't think Lawville has that much to offer. Uh, there is in the city. There's no way to get weapons, and well, no way to get all of the weapons. Um, you can get some some good armor here, uh, but that's about it. Transit is kind of annoying. Um, I do like the hospital. Uh, it does have uh, surface exits, but it takes a very long time to get to those surface exits, to get a vehicle and to um, to load up the vehicle and, and, and go to different locations. It does have large oceans. These areas are very scenic, very beautiful. It does have the savannah areas, again, very beautiful, very scenic. Uh, cave locations, desert-like locations, very alien-looking locations. Um, there's a lot of great things about Hurston, okay? Then we have Archcorp. Uh, I don't really like Archcorp that much because, you know, there's not really that much to do on the planet. Um, you really just have Area 18, certain rooftops, and shopping. Now, Area 18 is pretty good because you have, um... All the weapons you could want, all the armor you could want, clothing stores, food. You can um, buy ships from Arch Corp. Um, again, you know it's it's very straightforward. It's it's pretty nice. So, um, but the but again, the problem is it it doesn't have a planetary surface. But I mean, Crusader doesn't have a planetary surface. Uh, the planets around uh, Archcorp are not too bad either. But then we have Microtech. Microtech has uh, long been the front runner, the main contender for everybody to go to. But the problem is because everybody has set Microtech as their home base starting location, performance in New Babbage, in my opinion, is starting to get a little bit worse. Um, the advantages to Microtech is that it again, it has several biomes. I think it has at least three. The desert-like area, it has the snow-covered area, and then it has the green foliage area. Microtech is getting a lot of new rivers, as well as Hurston, in 318. So if you want to check out the rivers on Hurston or Microtech, uh, these are good planets to choose for your home starting location. What's nice about Hurston is not only do you, will you have rivers, uh, but you will have sand caves. I believe you will have rivers, sand caves, derelict outposts, and again, you have the oceans and the savannah. There will be a lot of locations to explore on Hurston in 318. Microtech isn't getting any of the sand caves and it doesn't have any liquid oceans. It will be getting rivers and derelict outposts though. So Microtech is still a really good contender to check out. Now, um, when you're talking about Microtech, the city is not that bad. You know, one train ride to get to the spaceport. Um, you've got the, the hospital right there when you spawn in. Um, it's a pretty easy city to navigate. Again, it doesn't really have that much shopping to do. You can't buy a ship there. And there really isn't that much weapons and armor available. 
but again you can just go up to the space station and get some of that stuff also the planets around microtech are pretty lucrative if you're interested in trading so it's not too bad of a choice to check out in 318 okay so um if you go into microtech a little bit you've got um calipi cleo and utopi i believe that's how you pronounce those names and um what's nice about microtech too is that you will be getting um a new racetrack so for this area i believe it is going to be on i you know i'm not sure i don't remember now from the isc there is aside from the snake pit there will also be another racetrack so there will be a snake pit and another one so if you're interested in racing micro the microtech uh, planetary system will have two um arch corp is getting one uh larian walla i don't think they're getting any racetracks um for crusader now um daymar is getting a racetrack and uh, um Yellow outside Grim Hex is also getting a racetrack, and then in Orson there's going to be a PTV racetrack, and then in Orson there's going to be another racetrack around uh, some platforms in Orson. So Orson will have four racetracks. Um, so the, uh, the I mean the Crusader Planetary System will have four racetracks in 318. Okay, and then Houston I'm not too sure about and. Arch Corp is getting one in the city. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the um the moons, but um yeah, so if you're interested in racing, setting your home location in the Crusader planetary system is not a bad idea. Oh yes, no, Houston is getting racetrack. Houston is getting a racetrack um on the outskirts of the city. Yeah, I'm not sure about the other planets, but Houston is getting racetrack on the other side of the city. So you're gonna have one in Houston. You're going to have um, two in Crusader and one on the planet, uh, one on the moon. Did I say that right? Yes. Outside of Grimhex, on Daymar, in the atmosphere of Orson and at the um, convention center PTV racetrack. So there'll be four in the Crusader planetary system. Yeah. Houston has one, four in the Crusader planetary system, one arch core planetary system, and two in Microtech. Two, three, So I, I think there'll be like nine total. But anyway, if you if you are interested in racing, my advice is to set um, Crusader as your home location. Okay. Now, if you're interested in rivers, your two options are Houston and uh, Microtech. Now, the thing about setting Microtech as your home location, if you're interested in rivers, again. Um, I think it's either Clio or Utopia have has large oceans too. But if you're interested in sightseeing the rivers, um, Houston and um, and Microtech are good choices. But again, remember that Houston has oceans as well. So I'm not sure. Again, this is just me speculating. They might not tie into the oceans. The rivers might just be, you know, freestanding in the landmass area. They might be in the savanna-like area. They might be in the, you know, uh, desert-like area. But if, again, if your gameplay is focused on sightseeing, you're going to have the sand caves as well as the rivers and the derelict outposts. While Microtech is going to get the derelict outposts and rivers, they're not microtech is not getting the sand caves so if you're interested in sightseeing um i might pick hurston 
as your or your home location your starting location because then you can check out the oceans you can check out the rivers you can check out the sand caves and you can check out the delic um kind of outposts homestead like places that's going to be around there but microtech is not a bad second choice okay uh, but definitely if you want to, uh, I mean, Crusader, I would say would be my third pick because Daymar is getting the sand caves. So, uh, uh Crusader is never going to be a bad choice if you're interested in sightseeing style gameplay. Okay. But, uh, I definitely wouldn't choose Archcorp <laughs> because Archcorp isn't getting any of that stuff in 318. Um, so yeah, my number one pick would be Hurston for sightseeing. My number one pick would be Crusader for racing. And um, for Arch Corp, I don't know. Uh, I, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really pick it for anything specifically. Again, um, if you're, if you're looking at salvage, I probably might stick with Crusader or Hurston. Again, I'm not entirely sure where these uh, salvage wrecks are going to be, but I would definitely pick a planet that has a lot of moons. Microtech has three, uh, Crusader has three, Hurston has four. Um, again, I, I'm assuming these things are going to spawn in asteroid belts. Uh, you know, I, I don't think they said anything about it uh, spawning on planetary surfaces or moon surfaces, uh, but there are a lot of crash sites on moons. So if you're interested in, you know, checking out crash sites um, to do that type of gameplay in 318, or if you're interested, uh, again, this is just me speculating. They haven't said anything about being able to salvage crash sites on planets, um, but I'm assuming that will come at some point. Uh, for now, we know that they've said that crash sites will spawn in space around asteroids. So, um, yeah, any area that has asteroids, if you're interested in salvaging, I know a lot of people are very interested in salvage um, with this new update uh, because you're going to get the, the reclaimers finally going to have functionality to salvage and people are interested in multi-crewing with that. Um, also, we're going to get the Vulture, and the Vulture is a great for people who want to solo uh, salvage. Um, so, yeah, I would I would definitely pick, you know, uh, or the Hurston area or the Crusader area. Um, but ultimately, you might end up hanging out at LaGrange points, you know. A lot so uh, if you're really interested in salvage i don't really think where you set your home location matters as much um but i would again i would put hurston and crusade as my top picks uh for setting your home location in 317. um if you're interested in um you know prison gameplay korea any type of pvp again you can really set your home location anywhere um i don't really think it, it, that matters too much um but i think that's the majority of the content that's coming in 318 so ultimately i would say my top pick my top winner for the best starting location in three 18 would probably have to be Hurston. Um, it's got a lot of moons. It's got a lot of potential gameplay that is tied to 318 rivers, sand caves. Uh, um, what do you call it? The Delic outposts. Um, the city is pretty good. Um, it has a lot of moons. And uh, I would say Crusader, my second pick, it is going to be the heart of racing in Star Citizen with four race tracks. Um, again, that's not to say that Archcorp's not going to be cool too. Arch the Archcorp racetrack looks amazing. 
Um, but again, you can always just travel to Arch Corp to, ch to, you know, race that track. But if you want to, you know, practice a lot uh, in a, a large variety of different tracks, because you have with a PTV track, you have, you know, on the ground, buggy track racing. Then you have the, you know, Orson race track, which is, you know, flying between buildings. I mean, then you have the Daymar uh, racetrack, which is, you know, flying through canyons. And then you have the um, Grim Hex racetrack, which is flying through asteroids. So you basically have all of your bases covers every kind of race you could want to do in the verse at, you know, in the Crusader planetary system. So if you're interested in racing, I would definitely choose Crusader as your home base. Again, if you're interested in sightseeing, I would pick Hurston or Microtech. And uh, uh, again, in my opinion, that kind of just leaves ArchCorp out. Um, ArchCorp definitely, in my opinion, needs some attention from the devs. Uh, a lot of people still love to choose ArchCorp as their uh, home location because there's a lot to do in the city. I mean, it's just easy to get weapons and uh, clothes and food, but I honestly never go to ArchCorp. In, in my opinion, there's not a whole lot of gameplay to do in ArchCorp. Um, I'm really waiting for building interiors and that gameplay to come out. But I mean, even when they update the underground facilities, ArchCorp's not really going to get a lot of love and attention uh, from that update because again, the whole planet's a city. There's not re there's there's going to be no underground facilities there, and Lyria and Walla don't really have a lot of underground facilities, if any, on those moons. So <laughs> ultimately, my number one pick is Hurston. My number two pick is Crusader. My number three pick is Microtech. Last place is ArchCorp. But, I mean, what do you guys think? Where are you going to uh, set your home location to be? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys um, like this video, hit like. If you want to see more videos like it, hit subscribe. And I, uh, I want to say thank you guys for all the uh, love and support on the videos. They've been doing really well. And I really appreciate you guys leaving comments and interacting with me. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. I want to do more. I want to make more videos for you guys. Um, yeah. Uh, and with all that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Salute.